So, this looks horrendous. This is the, the, the Big Sur login screen. And you can't change this. Apple has literally been pulling like the original iPhone where you could never change the wallpaper. It's the exact same thing on this. You cannot change the lock screen wallpaper. They don't let you. So I'm just gonna sign in and I'm gonna show you how simple this is. This is the wallpaper that I have right now, and I, I want the lock screen to be the same wallpaper. All we need to do here is go to System Preferences, and then in here, we're gonna go to Security and Privacy, and in here, just make sure that File Vault is off. You can't have it on for this to work. To do that, you just click the lock, enter your password, now it's unlocked, you would just tap this to turn off. You need to be plugged into power, and depending on how many files you have on the computer, it can take up to an hour to decrypt the entire uh, drive on here. I literally just use this thing for coding, so there's nothing on here. So for me, it only took like five minutes. Once that's done, you're just gonna go uh, back to the main, the main settings screen, and then you're gonna go to users and groups. Now in here, just unlock again, enter your password. Now right click on your user account here, advanced options, now in here, you can see that we can just go to the UUID and copy this. So now that we have that copied, we can get out of this. We don't need this anymore. And now we're just gonna go up here with finder selected. You can go to go and then go to folder or alternatively, you can push shift, command and G and that will open the go to folder dialog. And I've already done this just to make sure that it worked. So you're gonna do forward slash capital L for library, forward slash capital C for caches. And we're gonna enter this folder here. We're just going to make a new folder. And this is going to be called desktop pictures. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna right click on this folder, get info. And then over here on this window that comes up, uh, usually it'll stop right here. Uh, we're gonna go to this little bottom section right here where it says sharing and permissions. Under the admin here, make this read and write. Then we can close that. Now in this folder, we can make another folder and we're gonna paste the UUID that we copied. So that's command V for paste. And then again, do the exact same thing. Get info, sharing and permissions, admin, read and write. Now we can close that. We can close this and we can restart the computer. So now we'll restart. And essentially what's gonna be happening here is now the system is going to be saying, oh, hey, I have a directory for the lock screen. So it's gonna steal the wallpaper and it's gonna put it in that folder. So on this first boot that it's doing right now, it's not going to do this, it's still gonna... Okay, good autofocus, it's just kinda... Of go... Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. Oh, there we go. So right now it's gonna pull the original system file, so it's still going to be the super ugly lock screen. But once we sign in, it will change to the one that we actually want. So again, it's gross. So we'll sign in, command shift G. So this is just for me showing you, you don't have to do this step. I'm gonna go back to this folder, go in here, go in here. And now you can see that it created a lock screen ping file. So now we have a picture for the lock screen. You can change this, you can make this to whatever you want. So we're just going to lock the screen. There you go. It's done. Look at that. That's lock screen background. Changed. Super easy. And then just for fun, we can go back to that directory. Then we can just drag that into GIMP. So now we're gonna open it. So we're just gonna keep everything the way it is. Okay, so now that it's open in GIMP, uh, we can go to something like colors. Uh, we'll go to levels. Uh, for the input levels, we'll change the black level, bring that up by about 10, crush the blacks a little bit. The output level, we will fade the blacks by a little bit. Uh, and then for the output levels, the light, I'm gonna want this to be dark. So we'll make it like 200. So now we have a darker image. Now I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. I'll do like 175. So now we have a darker image for the lock screen. So I'll click okay. 
Okay, so now we have a nice dark picture and then we can go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's change this value to like a 10. Those are linked together. So now we have a blurry background. Now I will export this in the same directory as the same file. Export, replace, and we're gonna leave everything the way it is. So now that's done, we can just quit. Okay, so now our lock screen picture is a blurry picture. And we will reboot the computer. And now it should load the new image that we just manipulated a little bit uh, for the lock screen as soon as it turns back on. And there we go. Now we have the blurry darker background so that way it accents the actual login area a little bit better so we can see it better. Enter our password. It'll switch over to the crisp wallpaper. Look at that, it's like magic. This is honestly ridiculous, how much work you have to go through just to change the wallpaper and you have to unencrypt your computer just to be able to do that. Like you're literally removing your own security just for the sake of aesthetics. Uh, um, you can re-encrypt it once it's, once it's changed, but then you have to decrypt the drive again if you ever want to change it back. So it's kind of like a hit or miss. Do you want security or do you want versatility? It's, it's kind of like a 50-50. Unless you really don't change it that much, in which case it doesn't really matter. You could just re-encrypt the drive and then just send it for, I don't know, a couple months, however long you keep a wallpaper on your computer for. So I just want to quickly show here that this is Mac OS Big Sur version 11.0.1 .1, that works. So if you're on this, this also works for other older versions as well because it's essentially the same process. And you don't have to reboot the computer into recovery mode. And you don't have to do a bunch of messing around in terminal and everything, trying to get everything working. So it's a lot more user friendly, which as insulting as it is to say, a lot of Mac users are gonna you know, prefer this method. And one last thing before we wrap this up, uh, back in here, if we go to user, uh, users and groups, and you have like this picture or whatever, unlock again. So if you go to change this, you no longer have like the regular folder directories. You just have like the ones that are assigned with like your iCloud account or whatever from like iPhoto, or like, or I guess it's just photos now. So to put, to change this picture, you have to put the picture in the photos app. So you actually have to like download the picture and then manually put it in here first, and then you can select it. There we go. Much better. So now, let's go back to that lock screen. Perfect. That's all there is to it. It's a pain, but it's still possible. If you found something useful out of this, or you think that this whole process just to change the lock screen wallpaper was as stupid as I do, then you know, like the video, that's cool. Or dislike the video if you already knew all of this, that's cool too. Comment down below if there's something else I could have done or if you need help getting this working, I'll try to respond in the comments if you uh, need a hand with this or whatever. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to do more computer stuff like this because it's cold outside and I don't want to work on cars right now. Or, you know, don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.